good morning to you, each of you. Today, the topic is appealing to higher courts. And in this ninth wave, that's very, very important. I wrote, the highest law anywhere is the law of nature, or natural law. Every learned man or woman knows this. In fact, it is intuitive. We simply know the truth beyond all attempted denials to the contrary. That is me the metaphysical reality, which is the very basis for the great spiritual awakening now bursting forth in human consciousness. It is unstoppable. <sighs> Where do I begin? Those of you that have been following me in these daily videos for a good while will recognize that I've been involved in some legal battles of my own <laughs> as I stand up to the matrix and the process has reached the Florida uh, Fifth District Court of Appeal in which I filed my brief, my initial brief on Friday this past week and delivered copies to all the attorneys involved and uh, everyone that needs to know knows and I'll probably be posting that brief online at some point, although I'm not in a hurry to do it. I might wait until the responses come from the other attorneys that are involved. I'm not sure how I will do that, but in any case, as I had begun to prepare the brief, I had been given advice by more than one person that seemed to know the law very well. And one of the things that I was told is that I should study the law very carefully and understand the rules and find all of the places where the other parties involved broke the rules and cite them on the breaking of the rules. And so I, got, I actually purchased the Florida Rules of Court, the newest edition. I was loaned an older one. Uh, and the difference in thickness is amazing. This is the, and, and, I, and this has some pens stuck in it, but you can see how thick that one is from 1995 to the newer one, <laughs> the 2011 one. You can see that the rules have significantly changed or grown. They keep making more and more ordinances and as I waded through all this I was becoming tremendously discouraged and actually overwhelmed by the whole process because I'd find certain laws in one place and then I'd find other ones that seemed to be contradictory if not contradictory to the rules themselves, contradictory to common sense and it was, it was weighing me down until I had a Diksha blessing or a oneness blessing uh, a couple and a half weeks ago when Tony and Maria were here at, uh, at the Mary Horgan Center. And the following day in meditation, I mean, I just felt such, such a strong prompting to stop playing the rules by the game uh, of the game by the uh, set up by the courts and the people that set up the rules that there was no winning playing by their rules there's no winning because their foundation was a, a, a fraudulent foundation it was not solid and it could be easily manipulated in any direction and so I made the decision following the leading of my own heart to re to, to almost like start over from scratch and approach the whole thing from a totally different perspective wiping out all the work that I had done previously starting over based on natural law 
starting with the Declaration of Independence. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal and endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Opening words from the Declaration of Independence, 1776, signed by John Hancock and many others, and signed by me, Ron Van Dyke, in 2011, or might, uh, 2010, I mean. It might have even been 2009 when I signed it. I'm not, it, it goes back a ways. But I actually am a signator to the Declaration of Independence and the U.S. Constitution Bill of Rights. I am party to that because I have signed it under oath uh, in the public records in the state of Florida and in this, law, in this lawsuit. So I am part of those. So anybody that's going to say, you're not a party to it, so it has nothing to do with you. B.S. It has everything to do with me and everyone else that claims it. And I have claimed it by affidavit. It stands. It's the law concerning me. But anyway, I did the appeal based on natural law and on commercial law where there are rules of maxims or maxims of law that are simply common sense and established from the Bible, the Koran, and holy books throughout the ages, the law of God as enumerated and understood by men that have written it down and it is the basis for modern jurisprudence and it is the superior law, it is the foundation of common law. And I started from that from that premise, instead of trying to fight them on the rules of court to see who broke the rules and who didn't and get into an argument, I totally shifted the whole thing and went from what would have probably been the maximum of 50 pages to an 18-page document. And I broke some of the rules absolutely on purpose, even though I was told if you do not follow everything to a T, if you do not dot every I and cross every T in the prescribed manner, it will be thrown out of court. Well, I, the person who gave me that advice, an extremely intelligent individual, could quote the law with all the numbers and everything by heart. I mean, he, he knew his stuff. I mean, really knew his stuff. But he admitted to me that he had never won an appeal. He had played by the rules and never won an appeal. Of course he didn't, because you can't win an appeal unless you know somebody, unless you have some kind of a connection. Fighting as a pro se litigant, you cannot win an appeal with the rules because they will twist them around to their own, to their own benefit. And so I made a conscious choice to break some of the rules and tell them I'm breaking this rule because I'm a sovereign. I approached it as a sovereign, not somebody playing in their, in their ballpark by their rules. I'm playing by higher rules and I had the luxury of having a unanimous Supreme Court decision that confirmed what I was saying, which was like a silver bullet <laughs> given to me to put right in the center and make the cornerstone of my entire argument with the unanimous decision of the United States Supreme Court on my side. What are they going to do with it? I don't have any idea what they're going to do with it, and it doesn't matter. I already won. Now, I'm sure that the attorneys are going to point out all the places that I broke the rules and try to get it overthrown on technicalities. But as I put in the document, let truth be superior to technicalities. Let facts be more important than form. Otherwise, justice is not being served at all. And the court itself is dishonoring itself by masquerading as something other than what it actually is. So I've taken on the system again, not standing 
according to what they interpret things as. They are not my authority. My authority is the Holy Spirit living within me as the one spirit that unites everything and is waking up the whole human race, being poured out upon all flesh now in the 2011. And it will continue, not, it'll continue beyond 2011. It's not all going to happen this year. But it is happening this year in a, at a level that it's never happened before. And that will continue to accelerate as the playing field is leveled and as all of the lies and the frauds and the deceits and the, the things that the bankers have done and the courts have done and the governments have done and the corporations have done for a long time and been doing for a long time, laying up the foundation for this matrix and this a, attempted new world order that they were trying to create, well, there's a higher plan. And we've appealed, we the people, have appealed to the higher courts. And the higher courts have heard, the courts of heaven, if you will, have heard. And we are not alone. The extraterrestrials are here, the angelic realm is here. Everything is happening to bring about the changes that were prophesied from the beginning. This is the end of an old age and the beginning of a new age. You don't like that in your Christian belief system or whatever belief system you have? Well, wake up because that is the move of the Holy Spirit of God. And you're either, you're either going to wake up to it or you're going to stay asleep and then you can, you can stay asleep if that's what you choose. But why would you choose that when everything that we've ever longed for in our lives is coming to us now, not automatically, but because we are learning who we are. We're finally getting the message that Jesus said that you are gods. The scriptures said that. You are gods. Let this mind be in you that was in Christ, who being made in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. We are recognizing our own divine nature. It's not just somebody up on a pedestal out there as we put Jesus. It's not putting some spiritual leader, Muhammad, or or Buddha, the Buddha, or anybody else up on some pedestal and saying they are the master. We're recognizing that mastery is within each of us. It is within our reach because it's always been here, folks. It's always been inside of us from the beginning of time. It's never been anywhere else. We were created by God and God's image. Male and female created they, us. I don't want to say created him, created he, them, created they, us. We were created in the image of God, male and female, masculine and feminine energy. We were created with truth at the core of our being, with love at the core of our being. We were created with all of the attributes of God at the core of our being. And this other game that we've played, this matrix that we've built together, it's just been a teaching tool so that we would learn how powerful we are, that we could even create something that is not real and let it seem real to each of us. And we've done a good job of it. But now we have appealed to the higher court as we awaken. And there can be no other outcome but a new heaven and a new earth for this is the will of creation itself from the creator in each of us in each of us and in everything it's all awakening the undergrounds the underworlds are being opened up the unconscious is being opened up and heaven is being poured down so everything is coming up from the bottom and down from the top and it's converging in your heart in my heart and everybody's heart around the world and the judges are gonna have to wake up the attorneys are gonna have to wake up the bankers are gonna have to wake up the leaders of governments are gonna have to wake up everybody's going to have to wake up and this is gonna be a re-education time when we learn the truth and we reestablish love and cooperation as the dominant forces on the planet. I'm going to leave you with that. May you be blessed. Namaste.